Hello, my name is Joaquin Sanchez, and I am one of the shoulder surgeons at Mayo Clinic. Today, I would like to talk to you about rotator casters, one of the most common reasons for shoulder pain. The rotator cuff is a group of muscles and tendons essential for the coordination and power of the shoulder joint. Problems occur when part of a rotator cuff becomes irritated or damaged as a result of injury, overuse or simply wear and tear over time. This can result in pain, weakness and reduced range of motion. Tears affecting the full thickness of the rotator cuff are typically visible on an MRI. If you are suffering with the symptoms of a rotator cuff, discussing your options with a shoulder surgeon is recommended. In some circumstances, waiting too long can lead to muscle retraction and weakening beyond repair. The good news is that some individuals with a rotator cuff tear can feel improvements in pain, motion and strength without surgery. One corticosteroid injection can serve as a jump start by alleviating inflammation. However, too many steroid injections must be avoided since they weaken the tendon and bone structure, increasing the chances of failure if surgery becomes necessary. A physical therapy program focused on calf strengthening has the highest chance of success. If you want to remember one exercise to keep your rotator cuff healthy, elastic band strengthening in internal and external rotation will help you the most. Hold a towel or magazine under your armpit to block deltoid contraction. Then use elastic bands to strengthen the calf muscles, pulling inwards for a few sets, then outwards using the doorknob. Many individuals cannot overcome the symptoms of a torn rotator cuff and end up needing surgery. The most common procedure consists of using a thread-like material called suture to repair the rotator cuff to bone. Rotator cuff repair can be performed arthroscopically through small puncture wounds. Arthroscopic cuff repair has emerged as a major advance in shoulder surgery. It is accurate, minimally invasive, much less painful and cosmetically appealing. A camera is introduced through a puncture wound to visualize during surgery. The repair is performed by placing anchors in the bone, passing sutures to the tendon, and securing the sutures to the bone. Insertion of the camera through a small puncture wound allows excellent visualization. Instruments are used to pass sutures from the bone anchors through the tendon. The repair is completed by further securing the sutures and tendon to bone. The completed repair is shown to demonstrate secure fixation of the torn tendons to bone. Most patients do not need to stay in the hospital after surgery. Protecting the repair for a few weeks after surgery by use of a shoulder sling facilitates healing. Several amounts of therapy are required to completely restore motion, strength and function. Many patients feel the shoulder function is restored to normal. Unfortunately, in some patients, the extent of tendon damage is such that tendon repair is no longer an option. At Mayo Clinic, two other surgical solutions are considered in these circumstances. If the joint itself is not severely damaged, tendon transfers can be very successful. One or more tendons are surgically moved to the areas of rotator cuff damage and compensate for their function. There are multiple tendon transfers that can be considered and it is important to select the transfer that is best for each patient. Long-standing rotator cuff tests will eventually lead to arthritis. Reverse joint replacement is the best solution for this combination of arthritis and a damaged rotator cuff. In a reversed joint replacement, the ball and socket structure is reversed. An artificial hemisphere is fixed to the socket and an artificial stem with a concave opening is placed inside the bone in the arm. This change in geometry empowers the deltoid muscle and compensates for the rotator cuff. Recovery is actually very fast with only two or three weeks of immobilization. Remember to have your rotator cuff checked by a shoulder surgeon if you experience sudden loss of shoulder motion after an injury or if you have been experiencing dull ache for months. If your cuff is found to be torn, you may be recommended to consider one injection and physical therapy or you may be best to proceed with arthroscopic cuff repair right away. If the amount of tendon damage is beyond repair, tendon transfers and reverse arthroplasty are successful solutions for many patients. As you can see, 
there are many surgical solutions for cafters. We will help you select the one that is best for you. Thank you very much for listening.